volunteers. One of the main focuses of the guild as a whole is is collaboration, and often that uh, manifests as co-working. And the new tiers are intended partially to offer an introduction to that space. Um, the apprentice not yet having access, but it gives you a, a, the ability to dip your toe into it and find out and talk to other people who are experiencing it, what, what their experience has been like, and then associate has access to that co-working space. Yeah. There are a lot of people looking for help with ADHD who don't know what the help looks like yet. A lot of yes. folks have either new diagnoses or, you know, someone told them they had it as a kid and they never really looked into it and what it actually means for them and what it looks like in their lives. There, there are so many new people discovering their ADHD. I mean, even if they already knew they had it, like discovering what does it mean and what is it and, and not being sure if they need support or what it would look like. I think you used a good phrase, uh, dipping your toe in. And that actually a really important step is learning and learning what it's like and learning what it is. And while you can Google rabbit hole, all the articles you want, <laughs> um, it's very different from really talking with people who also have ADHD, having that interactive dialogue about this is a struggle I'm having and hearing somebody else say, oh, totally, I do that too. And, and while people could get that with coaching, you know, if, assuming your coach has ADHD and self-discloses things, <laughs> um, that's, that's one person that does, isn't going to give you the same rich information that lots of people will. And as we discovered that the, the rich community that we have created is incredibly nerdy, we also wanted to share that with more people because that's another aspect of uh, human experience that uh, having a rich community to share in is is much better than just being on your lonesome and not knowing anybody else who likes Magic the Gathering or anime <laughs> or what have you. Yeah, I, okay. So like quick tangent, um, you know, famous last ADHD words. When I first met Colleen, we were both ADHD coaches and my website had Star Wars and her website had Lord of the Rings on it. So we were already these like very involved with nerdiness ADHD coaches like way back when we first met. And it did feel a little bit magical, I'll be honest. And we talked about how can we do something with this? How can we make this a thing? And yeah. we did not know what that would look like. And now we have <laughs> manifested something. Many years later. And, and, you know, when we started the guild, um, in its original form, which is now the journeyman tier, that was one of the great things is like everybody had something different they'd nerd out on. I've never heard of somebody nerding out on making vinegars before, but now I know somebody who does and it's great. And yeah. it's so cool how much we can enjoy one another's enthusiasm, even if that particular topic isn't my topic, right? Like that's not yes. what I'm going to get into, but hearing somebody else's energy can be really energizing <laughs> yes absolutely <laughs> you know I don't know when somebody's going to watch this necessarily but um I guess all times are uncertain times but we're in a particular financially volatile time and um and there are people who need some kind of support who you know can't afford one-on-one -on -one coaching can't afford a lot of group support and um and we wanted to be able to reach out to some more people um, and, and have them be able to dip their toe in when they weren't sure. Like, I only feel ready for apprentice or I only feel yep. ready for associate. Yeah. And that's fine. That's where you start. You don't have yeah. to be jumping into the deep end. And it is, in fact, more likely to feel comfortable and safe and therefore sustainable if you have a way to dip your toe in first um uh, but also still like there are there are other solutions that do um help provide that but one of the things about the guild is that everyone who's in there has a commitment and a mindset of learning and growing and doing and being and and not because we are worker bees but because there are things that we that benefit us and that we love to do to get done and focusing on actually achieving those and 
understanding that our ADHD plays an enormous role and not allowing that to be the end of the story. Yeah. And, and one of the reasons we, we focus on both work and nerdy stuff is we really do believe in that sort of whole person. I, I, I get work done and I have fun. And those yes. are both really important to being yes. a whole person. Yes. Another Absolutely. reason I got excited about it is I have clients who don't feel like group coaching is for them, but could use some co-working or accountability mm -hmm. um, or ADHD education. Um, body doubling, co-working. And, and, and I wanted something to be able to offer to them that would be, be a good fit for them. Yes. I, um, I had a client recently who tried co-working, body doubling for the first time uh, in, in March and texted me a few times saying, I can't believe I put this off for so long. This is amazing. I <laughs> wish that I'd started it months ago. It's amazing. Thank you for, you know. And that wasn't even the guilt. That was that was a that was a free option that I send to people. And so I'm I'm thinking about. Uh, I don't think that person uses Discord yet, so I'm hesitant. <laughs> but it, I, offering that and that excitement and that energy and that and then I had another client who now uh, this is sort of a double edged sword. But now that they've tried um, tried that scenario, they don't know that they can get work done otherwise, <laughs> which is a risk, but you know, it's, it's available and there's lots going on. So yeah, but ask yourself, like, how well is the work going without it too? Like, <laughs> let's be real. Yes. yes. It's not like <laughs> it was amazing before it's yeah. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And we do just sort of have this idea to sort of like gather all the people like mother hens yes. <laughs> that are struggling to get their work done all alone in isolation so that we can come together and, and get more support altogether. Yep. Because we are, especially with co-working, we are more than the sum of our parts when we come together because like three or four or five people getting stuff done is as opposed to separate, like the math, the ADHD math is wild. <laughs> so the guild, the ADHD guild might be for you if you have ADHD, and you're done things and you need support getting the work done. Often we meet with people who know what it is. That, that is not the mystery. We know exactly what the work is. Um, we need the support to activate on it. Um, or uh, you want to tell someone who gets it how hard or amazing the thing is that you just did was. What are some other points, Brittany? If you really want to feel seen for who you really are and how your brain really works by people who get it, by people who may have had a similar struggle to you, or at the very least can relate, um, and, and, and be celebrated with, I mean, we do have our ADHD brags channel for a very specific reason. Like, so we can share those victories that other people don't get. Like I waited to call the dentist for three years and I finally did it. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. yep. I folded and put away the laundry the same day that it got washed. Yep. 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 That's a big one too. I emptied the dishwasher right away after the dishes were clean. Yeah. And these are things that other people will go, okay. It's, it, it's, it's a normal function of their lives. It's not a massive victory as it is for us. Yeah. The other thing, and we talked about this a little bit briefly before, to find your people. The guild might be the place for you. Uh, and in terms of ADHD and nerdery and the intersectional Venn diagram therein. And also education. Um, literally finding out, like we we are not cutting edge, uh, uh, you know, scientists with the latest research, but we do have experience and we do try and keep abreast of what is most recently coming into our awareness. Um, and, uh, and just even just the, the thing that's old to us that we just take for granted and is part of our daily breathing and living ADHD management 
is, is a revelation to someone who is, has a recent diagnosis because they just haven't, you know, had that experience. So if you're interested, come by and check us out. And we always want to welcome new folks into our ADHD Guild family. Definitely.